Hi, and welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. This video is new comic pickups for August 29th, 2018. As you can see, the Looney Tunes came out this week. So you have Joker and Daffy Duck. So I bought this issue. Looking forward to reading these books. I haven't read any of these books yet. I also bought uh, the variant version of it. So... On this one, if you can see the background here, it says bats and bugs, and it has it crossed out. I like this cover, so I picked it up. Uh, Lex Luthor, Porky Pig. I didn't pick up the variant because I just wasn't feeling it. So here's the number one of this issue. Harley Quinn and Gossiper, number one. I They were sold out of the number ones, but I was able to pick up a variant. Which is weird, but hey, I'll take it. Catwoman, Tweety, and Sylvester, number one. This is a variant. Um, I like how Sylvester is around her neck like a fur or a stall or shawl. And he's trying to get at Tweety. And of course, Catwoman, number one. So that's a nice cover. And that's how, all I was able to pick up for the Looney Tunes. I'm, overall, I'm happy with the, what I was able to pick up. Next up is Extermination number one, or number two, sorry. This is a great cover, and I read the first book, and I'm looking forward to reading the second. I don't know how long this series is going to be, but um, I have been enjoying reading it so far even though it's only been one issue. And next up is, I was able to pick up a variant cover for Teen Titans 21. So I didn't get this variant last week, but apparently they got a restock. So I was able to pick up this one. Next up was Venom, first host. This is a variant edition. So I picked this up over just the regular one, just because I like the cover better. Next up is, uh, that was Skyler. He works here at PFC Games, which stands for Private First Class. So I should throw in a plug. So if you're in the Seattle, Washington area, please come by and tell them that Joaquin recommended you. And Skyler or Jack will say, who? Watch. They will. Even though I've been here, coming here since for seven years, they'll think it's funny. First uh, issue that I have up here is a reprint Fantastic Four number one. And this is supposed to be an exact replica except for the price of $3.99. So I'm looking forward to reading this book. And for those of you who are Fantastic Fours and fans, I would definitely suggest picking this up and even if you're not a Fantastic Four fan and just a comic book collector this should be a good book to pick up and they still kept the original advertisement in there and you can just see how it was how art was drawn and how the writing was back then so it's to the time so I'm looking forward to reading this and now here are books that I missed last week but I was able to pick up this week so, West Coast Avengers, number one. Sorry about that. So, looking forward to reading this series. Been hearing some good things about it. Justice League, number six, finally came in for me. So, that was sold out at the places that I went to yes, uh, last week. And I was also able to get a number six variant cover. So I want to say this is John Stewart. So this is a nice Green Lantern cover. And I also missed out on Venom. So I was able to pick that up this week. So I'm looking forward to reading all these new books. show you the side without the tape 
and this week's eBay. So I was able to pick up all the pick up three books I'm going to show you for fifty dollars with shipping. So after checking the value and all of them, it's the equivalent of fifty dollars. So while I didn't get a, a a steal or a discount or or a great deal, I was able to at least pick them up for value and. I'm collecting X-Men. I've mentioned this in a few other videos. So from 100 to 300, that's the run I want to collect. And I want to try to get as many of these books, or at least the key books, in a 9.6 or a 9.8. So X-Men 103, this is like condition right off the bat. I'm going to say it's uh, very good. As you can see, I mean, you look at, get a close-up look. You can see a lot of the pings and damages. You see major stress marks coming up the side, but still pretty good cover shape. I like the colors still. Still bright colors on some parts of it. So 103 is written by Chris Claremont and the artist is Dave Cochran. So there's nothing, this is not a key book, but like I said, I'm just picking it up for my collection until I get find another better copy. Next up, is X-Men 111 again this one's uh, probably might be in fine Let's see if you can see a little bit of the glitches up here I mean if I were if this was a key issue I would probably get this pressed and graded but if I ever do get this book graded, it will be on the low end of, of the books that other books that I have. Because I believe with a lot of these older books, that you should get them graded just to protect them. Just to have that slab protect them. So 111, another Chris Claremont book. And the artist is John Bryan. I know I'm pronouncing his name right. And the cover is Dave Cochran. hope I'm pronouncing his name right too. So... I love the X-Men. I've always been a huge X-Men fan. They're my favorite comic book to read. And you should always do your homework before you buy anything off of eBay. Because this lady, she listed these three books up for charity, which is another reason why I didn't mind paying 50 bucks for them, plus the free shipping. Um, I'm hoping it was for a charity. I mean, some people do that. But she listed this book right here of Uncanny X-Men 115 as the first appearance of Sauron. But offhand, I already knew that this wasn't the first appearance of Sauron. But when just because somebody's listed on eBay or listed wherever you're buying, they claim it, always do your homework and, and double check to make sure you know what you're getting. So Uncanny X-Men 115 Again, written by Chris Claremont and cover artist and cover art John Bryan. So another reason to make notes of these comics. So you could also be a big Chris Claremont fan. So you could be collecting these either because you're you're also an X Man and you want to collect most of Chris Claire or all of eventually all of Chris Claremont's run. So this is a nice pickup for that. It actually, I will leave this up because I do enjoy this cover. And I'll take the glare off of it for you. So that'll do it for this week's pickup, new comic pickup. Sorry, got a little glitch there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Every week when I pick up comics, new comics, I will also be showing you what I'm currently picking up on eBay and why. So, until then, I'll catch you later.